good news is that this is a great day for dreamers. The bad news is, is that you're going to have to wake up and look at that dream tonight. I'm Jeff Joe. And I'm Rick Levine for Planet Pulse on this Wednesday, January 15th. The full moon tonight in Cancer is certainly profound. I'm not sure that it's a wake up call though. It's almost like it's almost like it's at the time it's a go to sleep call. But but I think you're right. Today is a day for dreamers and I think that we can get lost in our dream and 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 by the time the full moon rolls around in the evening, I think it can be a very profound evening. Well, full moons are always high points of tension and it's because of the contrast between the conscious will of the sun and the opposing instinctive needs of the moon. The sun is in Capricorn, which is about order and control in the physical world, and yet that full moon is in Cancer, which is about emotions, feeling, and the interior world. But the dreaminess comes earlier in the day as loving Venus forms an awkward half square with Neptune, the planet of illusions. Right. And I think that 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 dreamy part really does feed the day. It, there's that sense of of being lost in fantasy or lost in dreams. But you know, I've reconsidered <laughs> my disagreeing with, with 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 the wake up call later in the day in, in the evening. But I actually think it may come earlier now that I think about it. Now mm -hmm. that I've listened to what you said, and I agree because we still have three planets in realistic Capricorn. And although the moon is in Cancer, it forms a harmonious trine with Saturn, which is the realistic planet earlier today. And so it's almost like, although we're lost in our dreams, we can keep bringing it back. We, can, we, we have the ability to keep a foot on the ground so that by the time we reach the full moon, perhaps we're realizing the best of our dreams rather than feeling at odds because we've overextended or have been totally lost in them. Well said. I'm Rick Levine. And I'm Jeff Jower, inviting you to join Rick and me here every day for Planet Pulse. And we have a special announcement of a live event from Tarot.com. Rick and I and the staff here at Tarot have been working for years in the virtual world. We have been providing you with information about astrology, Tarot, I Ching, numerology in an online form, we are going live. Yeah, this we're going coming, live. <laughs> this, right. Oh, finally, Pinocchio is gets to be. We get to be real boys, and we're going to meet growing? you. Yeah, and we're going to meet you in Los Angeles this April for the Intuition Two Conference. You can find out about this by going to Intuition Number Two Conference dot com to keep up with the exciting news about the events that are going to help change our lives and yours. See you in LA in April.